Hello friends, I'm so excited to bring you today's video where I am going to show you how to add to your Notion from iOS in one click. This is the fastest, most efficient way that I have found to add information into Notion and I cannot wait to share it with you today. As you all know, I love my quick access page, which I've created and comes with all of my templates. It easily allows you to add a task, a content idea, etc., with buttons. However, because what I am doing 99% of the time is adding tasks into my Notion. I have discovered a much faster way and I can't wait to show you. Let's jump right in. So the first thing that you are going to do is open your shortcuts app. And once you have that open, you're going to click the plus sign in the top right corner and search for Notion. Once you've done that, you're going to see that there are a couple different options. One of them is going to say create document and one of them is going to say create document without opening. These are slightly different and you may want to do one over the other depending on your situation. For today's exercise, I'm going to show you the faster option, which is going to take a little bit more configuring in Notion, and that is the create document without opening. This means that when you put a task in on your phone, it's not going to then open the page that you've just created. This allows you to be able to enter information quicker, but it does create a need for some slight configuring on your Notion side, which I will be showing you. If you would prefer to have the page open in Notion after you've created created it so that you can add some properties, you do not need to do any configuring in Notion. However, I think the first way is really cool and it's really fast, so I'm gonna get along with that. Once you open your Shortcuts app, you're going to select the Create a Document Without Opening. And when you click on the Title option, you're going to choose Always Ask. I like to leave the body open because there's not really anything that I would want in the body of the page every time. And then you're going to wanna make sure that you search for the name of your task database. This is very important because because this is going to be where it is sending the task once you have created it in Notion. And if you choose the wrong thing, it's gonna be impossible to find it later. Once you have that set up, you can change the name. This also works with Siri. And if you're going to use Siri, you will use the exact text that you write in there when you are telling her the command. You can do this by clicking a button or actually using Siri. It will have you choose an icon. And then when you add it to your home screen, you can name it something simple like add to Notion, choose whatever icon you want. I like to do a plus sign or like a little writing icon and then you will see it on your home screen. Now when you click this button on your home screen it's going to prompt you to type in a task. However, it's not going to allow you to edit any properties. We have to do some slight configuration depending on how your Notion is set up to ensure that we can see this in our Notion when we open it. For instance, I use a due date focused task list. So if I do not add a date to my task, it is not going to show up anywhere in my to-do list because everything is organized by date. However, what I have done is created this really cool task inbox. So you will see my task inbox right over here. And basically when I enter something in on my phone, it is going to pop up in this task inbox. So right now, if I go ahead and open this and I type in test task and I hit done, you're going to see it pop up almost instantaneously. And this works because that way I'm not having to add or adjust any properties when I'm on my phone. So it makes the input process on my phone much quicker than normally when I put in a to-do date and a category and I add all of these things, it's taking more time when I'm on my phone. Usually when I'm on my phone is when I'm on the go. So now all I have to do when I open Notion is look at my inbox, open up the task, go ahead and add a date and add a category, and then it will be right here on my to-do list. I think this is a lot easier than having to configure it on your phone. However, it does take some work to create this task inbox. And unfortunately, if you do not use a date feature on your to-do list, you will have to figure out another way to filter this inbox or you can use the other option when creating a shortcut where it not only creates the document for you but then it opens it and you can add some properties that way. If you have a super simple to-do list and there's not a lot of things on it, simply adding it to your to-do list will just pop it on there and you don't have to use this task inbox. Because I have over 100 things on my to-do list at any given time, I filter it by date that I have things scheduled so having this task inbox allows me to see anything that does not have a to-do date. I'm going to go ahead and show you now how to set up the task inbox. If you happen 
often to use a date focus to-do list like I do. So I'm actually going to do it right below here and I'm going to create this exact same one. So if you're curious, you can also create it to look identical. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is type slash call out to pull up a call out. You can change this to any color that you want, but I like to do the default background because it gives it a little outline. Next thing you're going to do is slash table and you're going to create a table view. From there, you're going to choose your tasks database. And as you can see, it's going to have a lot of stuff on here. So what I'm going to do is create a filter. What I'm going to do here is do an advanced filter. This is essentially going to allow me to have it say, if it doesn't fit this category in this category in this category, it's going to show up here. So we want this advanced filter. And the way that I'm going to do this is where the due date is empty. And I'm also going to add another one because I'm not adding any properties to these tasks. I want this area to show any tasks that do not have any properties. So the other rule that I'm going to add is category is also empty. By just doing these two things, essentially if I add a task to my task list that does not have a category and it does not have a due date, it's going to pop up here, which is really handy because when I'm entering it from my phone, I'm not putting in any information. I'm literally just putting in the name of the task and nothing else. And then I'm coming in and doing it later. I'm going to leave that like that. And I'm actually going to drag this over here just for a moment because I want to see some more options for filtering. I'm also going to hide my database title and I'm going to rename this as task inbox. And we'll do, I really like this little mail icon. That's really cute. And then because I have a group set on here, I'm actually going to remove the grouping because I do not want that. And to make this even more streamlined, I'm going to change the layout from a table to a list. This way it's super duper compact. And if I drag it over here, you see it looks exactly the same. And if I go ahead and do a test on my phone, we will see that it pops up. It should pop up in both of them. That is how you create the inbox. Super easy, super quick. However, if you are looking for a more streamlined, easier way to do this and you don't mind entering in more information from your phone, doing the option where it creates the page for you and then opens it does not require you to have this inbox. However, I am all about speed and efficiency when I am on my phone and I really don't want to spend time choosing properties for a task when I'm like on the go, in the shower, out to lunch with somebody and I think of something I need to do. I just want to be able to enter it and then come here and boom, it will be right there in my inbox and I can adjust the properties when I have more time and I'm at my computer. The cool thing about this is you can use Siri with this. You are going to want to make sure that you are saying the exact name of your shortcut, which for me is add a task to Notion. You're going to say that as the command and then once it pops up with a little bubble that says add a title, then you are going to say what you would like the name of the task to be. So I'm going to try this now. Add a task to Notion. Test. And there you go. Look at that. It worked just perfectly. It's very important though that you do need to remember that the command for Siri is the name of the shortcut. So make it something easy like add a task to Notion or whatever you think is easiest for you to remember. Hopefully that made sense for you. Please let me know if you have any questions. I love figuring out different ways to make your life easier with Notion. And if you have any questions about it, I would love to help you out. Definitely come and join us in Discord if you would like. We have an ADHD Discord community and a large part of what we do is talk about Notion, share ideas, help each other out, share new features that are coming. It's a really good way to just kind of talk to other people about Notion if it's something that you're really excited about. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, friends. See you next time.